but I believe I left enough for a four inch overhang on this side. I believe we did it.
for the first barrel. That's 55 gallons. So guys, just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on now, I, I borrowed this uh, this barrel so I could transfer this fuel without having to do it just in five gallon cans. I borrowed this barrel from my dad and unfortunately the pump that was with it uh, is not working for some reason. The, one, the uh, 12 volt pump that's with it, I just could not get it to go. So I'm just siphoning it out into my, into my tank here. It'll work, it just takes a little longer of course. And I'm gonna put some of this BioClean it's called Power Service BioClean Diesel Fuel Biocide, just for, uh, for long -term, term storage of diesel fuel. And uh, just to make sure my, my little investment here <laughs> stays good for a while, because it may take a while for me to use all this up. So one ounce treats 20 gallons, so I'm gonna go ahead and put six ounces. That's enough for 120 gallons. This is a 150 gallon tank, but I'm only gonna put about 110 gallons in it, at least for now. So that should be, um, that should be sufficient. That should do. That's a little more than ten, but that's okay. That's probably it's probably seven ounces actually. That's fine. And you can see it's kind of starting to drizzle here, so I'm kind of prote protecting the fuel as uh, as best I can with that bucket up there. So guys, I had to switch to a different hose here. That other hose was just a little bit too short to go low enough to keep the siphon going uh, for the remainder of this tank. I couldn't get it started back up once I moved the truck to try to get it closer. I was able to clean up the old fuel hose that came with this tank well enough so that I could use it safely uh, and it's going much faster now and it should be able to drain this whole 55 gallon drum right here. So yeah we'll go ahead and finish that up and get the Kubota filled and see how well this works. I know that that pump works. It's actually a 110 which I thought was interesting but it's a 110 unit and it does work pretty good. We got a new filter and a new hose on it and I really, if y'all can see how that that filters it's some kind of a it looks like it's finishing up. That filter is at a weird angle and I tried my best to bring it back down uh, with the threads there, but I, I'm, I just couldn't do it. I wasn't able to do it. Uh, so I'll just leave it the way that it is. I suppose it's been fine for a while. One of the motivations for me getting this tank was, to, uh, was so that I would be able to get up on the Kubota and, and easily put fuel into the Kubota without wrangling a five gallon can of gas, a uh, can of diesel. It's up on top of the hood, uh, just like the Ford 3000 was, and I just wanted to make it a little bit easier so I wouldn't spill it all over the place, It'd just be a little bit neater. I got this, uh, my dad and I went to an estate sale a few months ago and picked this tank up. It's of course, obviously a used tank. Howard did a good job cleaning it up for me, and I'm very pleased with, uh, with the way that it turned out. I'm pleased with the way that the shed turned out. I think it's gonna be nice having a good fuel supply on the place. I'll also put my gasoline cans right over here. I'll probably put a little table out here that I've already got and put gas cans and stuff out here. I'll be able to I'll be able to get all my fuel away from the shop and all my burn motor oil and stuff away from the shop and just kind of stick it out here in buckets. But uh, I think this is finished. Let's um let's see how see how well it works. Oh, it's not finished. Yeah, it is. It's finished. It's finished. Let's um let's go ahead and uh, get it closed up and see how well it works.
So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, for now, I'm actually just gonna run an extension cord from the shop to out here whenever I need to fuel up. I had an idea of using one of those battery jumper boxes, uh, the ones that have a 110 outlet on the side. I, I assume that those things are strong enough to run this. I'm not really sure, but I've been kind of needing one anyway to keep in the vehicle. So I might end up getting one of those and run this with that because I'm not gonna be using this every day. It may be a once every two week type thing, but um, that might be a little more convenient than using an extension cord from the shop every time I need to fill up, I'm not sure. But I'm very happy with it. Before I used it, I made sure everything was nice and clean. I ran several pint jars through just so I could see any dirt and, and junk that was in there. And I was getting some junk in there, but it turned out I'm pretty sure it was from the nozzle. So I got the nozzle good and clean and uh, that cleared that out pretty well. So uh, I think we're good as far as the cleanliness goes. It's got a new filter, got a new hose on it, and uh, it works. I'm very, it was very shocked that the pump actually works and works really well because it's an old pump, an old Westinghouse pump, which is interesting. Um, very old, uh, very, um, I think it's been, I think it had been left out in the weather, I'm not sure, but it works. You know, they just, it's one of those things you can look at and say they just don't build them like that anymore. That's a, that's an old tank right there. I think it'll work for a, for a good while longer at least I hope that it will because those pumps are kind of pricey but anyway works well didn't spill fuel on the tractor here uh, I'll be able to use it for the Kubota and also the Ford 3000 I've had a lot of people asking what happened to the Ford 3000 I've still got it I uh, can't can't get rid of that that's my old workhorse around here I'll still use it for stuff around here and uh, no plans to get rid of that one but that's going to do it for this video I hope that y'all enjoyed it and I will see y'all on the next one so guys, I almost forgot. I wanted to uh, just kind of give you all an idea of the fuel efficiency of this tractor while I'm at it. Um, when I first got this tractor, it had a little over two hours on it. Uh, I don't know if it was filled up at the zero mark and then run at the dealership for two hours and then brought. My suspicion is that it was filled up at the dealership at the two hour mark and then brought. But either way, it's got 16.1 on it now. So about 15 or 16 hours to a tank. Uh, it was still, it still had an eighth of the tank left left in it before I filled it up just now. Uh, so I'm thinking probably 15 or 16 hours to a tank, something like that. And I've only been, and it's a 13 gallon tank by the way, and I've only been using it around 1500 to 2000 RPM in that range and not really hard, hard labor on it. Um, so I really don't know how, compare, how that compares to the efficiency of the Ford 3000. I do know that 3000 was just notoriously fuel efficient. It burned very, very little fuel but I really don't think that's too bad. You're looking at less than a gallon an hour, I guess. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd let y'all know in case y'all were inter interested in the fuel efficiency of these things. See y'all next time. Bye.